Glorious West Country weather was the order of the day as the West of England Motor Club presented the 50th anniversary of the Patch Quick Motocross. <laughs> Past winners gather around this magnificent trophy reminiscing of times gone by. And the Patch Quick Trophy being presented to the rider achieving the best results in three races. Rob Herring's debut on a Honda 500 has been eagerly awaited. Many people would remember him as a raw and rather wild 17-year-old in 1986 when he last rode a 500. The Whiteway Barton start has seen many riders come to grief on the first corner as they funnel into the first turn. Modifications have certainly improved the safety angle. But once again, several riders crashed, but none were injured. Kawasaki teenage sensation Paul Malin surged into an early lead with the informed Jeremy Watley in hot pursuit. The first 250 mounted rider, Warren Edwards, was looking good in third place and showing the sort of form that he ended with in 89. Watley pressured Malin, showing him half a wheel, which resulted in a minor error, but that was enough to give him the lead, which was never challenged. Herring had struggled to get to grips with the 500 off the start line, but was coming through the field with comparative ease, proving to be one of the quickest down the steep Devon hillsides, where he caught and passed triple world champion David Thorpe. Herring then set off after third pace man Warren Edwards, who he displaced to a credible fourth.
Watley cruised to a first leg win and by doing so placed one hand on the patch quick trophy. And returning to the track exit, we can see that Watley had punched the rear tyre. He seemed most unconcerned. The second leg saw Watley take an early advantage, while Dave Watson, who suffered a terrible start line accident here two years ago, shot his 250 Honda into second place. Only for a few seconds, but long enough to put the last incident firmly behind him. The pack of riders charged through the narrow gateway, jostling for positions as if their lives depend on it. Watley gets away with Mervyn Anstey in close pursuit, determined to improve on a slow start to the season that's seen him get the best financial deal for a private team in the UK. Anstey eventually crashed out, but expect to see more of him as the season hots up. Meanwhile, Herring has committed charging downhill manoeuvres, making up lost ground, and soon moved into second place, vacated by the luckless Anstey. Brian Wheeler barges past the uninspiring Dave Thorpe, who's immediately put under pressure by the informed Stuart Coyle.
and Coyle eventually riding right around Thor. Watley once again crosses the line for his second victory of the afternoon. Watley wrapped the proceedings with a comfortable third leg victory and remains unbeaten in 1991. He then received the prestigious Patchquit Trophy from its first winner, 81-year-old Tom Whitten. The 1991 Patchquit winner, Jim